are back. Welcome to another edition of the Sports Report. And we are back. We got the full crew in the house. That is what it's all about. The Yankees out of any team in the league are the best equipped to handle a blow like this. I think there is a higher power at play here. He's due law of averages. That dude is the ultimate scrub. <laughs> it's trash. <laughs> yeah. Every person you have in there is fucking trash. Next game, you're going to see a big, big, big performance. You can see it in the end of the game, and I'm just totally stoked and excited for this. And we are back. Welcome to another edition of the Sports Pour here on the Monday, the Monday after the Masters, the 88th edition of the Masters. And I am joined by Anthony Materiello, uh-huh. Scotty Scheffler, champion, second time in three years, Vern Lundquist stepping away after 40 years on number 16. And speaking of 16, Tiger Woods, 16 over par after making his 24th consecutive cut at the 88th edition of this Masters tournament. I am your host, Brian Barnaby. Anthony Materiello, how are you doing on this fine morning? Mm, I'm doing very well. A stomach full of pimento cheese sandwiches and turkey salad. Mm, boy, the menu at the Masters what sure a, what, is What about the amazing. peach ice cream sandwich? I don't think I could do that. I'm sorry. Really? Can't do it. Wow. That, I mean, that kind of killed the vibe, no? Yeah, yeah, I can. In a way, honestly, I'm almost a little, like, it was such a great tournament. I'm almost a little, like, down this morning because it's one year until we go back to Augusta <laughs> National, you know? Um. Yeah, I see what you're what you're saying, but you know, I, you know what they say, dude. Don't be sad that it's over. Be happy that it happened, Brian. And it's not goodbye. It's see you later and later, as in <laughs> April tenth, two thousand twenty-five, <laughs> at Augusta National. Um, if you had to guess, how many times it said the eighty-eighth edition? How many times, like, who said the eighty-eighth edition? Over the course of the entire weekend. But like, from all the broadcasts. Yeah. I mean. A hundred thousand, at least, dude. <laughs> yeah. So funny. Um, and it's and it's tough too because I feel like you know once we get to you know Valhalla, uh, you know next month for the PGA, like we will be excited. But it's just looking at it, you know, from afar. Um, you know, it's just even though those are big, you know, the U.S. Open, the PGA, the Open, they're big, but obviously it's not. You're not as juiced that, up, dude. It's not yeah. Augusta National. Oh, gosh. Uh, it's still going to be good tournaments, though. Come on, dude. There's going to yeah. be some great golf. There's plenty of storylines here. Oh, yeah, of course. Of course. Yeah. It just, I think, like I said, it's just, there's only one Augusta National. <laughs> right? Or no? Oh, yeah, you're totally <laughs> right. It, it I, You know, we said it yesterday yeah. um, at the Horseshoe. You know, it really did feel like a special tournament. You know, I mean, the coverage mm-hmm. was amazing, dude. I got to say, like, that. The masters.com. I mean, that's that's so sick that they have the featured groups, the specific holes. Create your own groups. Yeah, the create your own groups. Yeah. Like that is so nuts. I mean, it's so extensive in terms of the coverage. I've never seen anything like that. No. And they don't do that for any other tournament, right? Uh not like that. No, no. They definitely don't. For you know, they're really the only one that's made like their own website with, mm-hmm. with broadcasting. Usually it's just ESPN plus or Peacock, um, you know, with the extensive coverage. Pretty crazy. Um, I believe we do have some comments. Oh, yes, we do have some comments. Uh, Pardon me, obviously. Josh B in the house saying happy Monday. Playoffs are almost upon us. Amped he is. Hashtag TCA, hashtag Sportsport, hashtag DTV, NHL playoffs. Josh B, it's funny. I was literally going to make that comment, to be honest. I was just about to say that. I don't know. We get confused. The NBA. And then, of course, we have uh, Kev Dudes. We want the smoke. Hell of a weekend for the Knicks, he says. They take the two seed. Let's go Rangers, he said. Hashtag TCA, hashtag DTV, hashtag Sportsport. And then my mother also in the house on this Monday saying good morning, so, which it definitely is. Good morning to your mother. Good morning to Kev Du. Good morning to Josh B. Good morning to America, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it, it... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, did it not? It's 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 tough. It's tough that that we have. To, it just. It, I mean, every everything that's great, everything that we enjoy, always just flies by. That's just that's just how it is. Yeah, I guess I guess you're not wrong with that one. You're uh, really taking this one hard, huh? Uh, because it it is just it's just awesome. 
you know, at the yeah. end of the day. And then, you know, on my end, the arthritis. I really have never had so much arthritis before. <sighs> yeah, you said it's in the shoulder, dude. You like it, the shoulder, the but also the, the fingers. Is it arthritis or just like a self diagnosis? Uh, self diagnosis. But yeah. what else would it be? No, I mean, you're, you're again, you're, you're probably right. You know, maybe yeah. it is the arthritis, but, um, Maybe it's just, you know, maybe it's just a little kink in the system right now. You can weed it out, you know? Right. Did you get some sleep last night, Brian? No, great sleep. Honestly, oh. no problem there. Oh, nice. But it just, it was just what I was feeling last night. I thought it would be kind of more, um, you know, worked out uh, by this time in the morning, but it's not. So we just move forward, right? I mean, what else are we going to do? Yeah, I got to keep moving forward, you know, stretching. You are too it, young for arthritis. But but then, but, you know what I mean? I'm just trying to think. So, like, if it just, my fingers feel sore, and my, so does my shoulder, then if it's not arthritis, then what is it? Um, Especially in the fingers, I feel like, I mean, I guess inflammation, but isn't inflammation arthritis? Right. I mean, I am no doctor. Right. Um, But I don't know. I mean, it could have been maybe excessive drinking on the weekend, lack mm. of sleep, the food you <laughs> ate, you know, like. Yeah. Yeah, tendonitis, your mother Tendonitis? Says. Tendonitis. My mother has arthritis in her hands or tendonitis, okay. something like okay. that. Bone spurts, stuff, you know. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe <clears> that's what it is, you know. I guess you really, at the end of the day, you just really never know. Yeah, I guess I want to go see a doctor, I suppose. Oh, now that we're in studio, can you check predictions on the major championships? Oh, yes, dude. About? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then Kev uh, getting robbed. Oh. That is, that is ridiculous, honestly. It's, just, it's a little funny. Just a little, nothing too crazy. <laughs> All right, sorry. Give me, give me a second. I'm gonna track down. I should have marked it off, huh? Yeah. That's all the passwords. This is not that. So let's see. Truba. Whatever hockey. Do you know what like what date this was? Oh, uh, I mean it. It must have been probably like around like the players or something. So in beginning of last month. Beginning of the last month. Okay, I definitely went too far. Hold on. Your mother making the orthopedic call and saying it also could be a pinched nerve. And then Matthew riled with the muchachos. Hola. Is he back? Do you know? Uh, you know, I uh, ah. I almost feel like he's not going to be back till Thursday. I thought it was a week trip and didn't he get there Thursday? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you're right. Yeah. That's a good call on that and he'll one. I'll probably confirm that. Uh, did you get to it or still? Uh, we have it locked in here. Yeah. Um. So... For oh, the, it is to no Tony. Oh, no Tony, meaning I think what I said. Yes, I, uh, I think I think I think what you said as well. Uh, but looking at my excuse me, my, my notes Thursday's here. Correct. Thursday's correct. Um, Masters, you have Brooks Kepka, US Open Scotty. The PGA, you have Morikawa. Interesting. Okay. And in the open, you have Rory. Okay. All right. And then what what's your you have Ludwig for one of them? Yeah, I had um Scotty and then Aubert at the U.S. Open, uh, Kepka at the PGA. Kepka to go back to back. Yeah, and then Hovland at the Open. Okay, so interesting. I know, interesting. You know, so far, I, mean, I don't think I'm doing pretty well. Yeah, yeah, and I'm just mad at myself because I I knew going into it that uh, Scotty was the best golfer. I I think I was just thinking like Kepka riled mm -hmm. due for some success. Yeah, there, but. Uh, uh boys that was the answer to the trivia last night about how many players have won multiple masters so i'm guessing he's asking the the answer what to was that, the, yeah, yeah what was the answer and the answer was 18 so um if you put that in perspective it really i think shows what an exclusive list um it is because if you know 88 editions so you go 18 into 88 i mean roughly a little less than a quarter of the players are repeat mm -hmm. you know champions right that's you know? crazy um so um you know i think i think that's a big deal that is a huge deal Are you kidding me um and then um wasn't it five what was the answer and then we said 18 18 uh you were gonna what what we talked about you said you're gonna mention on the show at uh yeah yeah my mother I, I wanted to mention this on binge buddies though this isn't really sports related yeah 
Um, but I don't know if you've ever watched The Golden Bachelor. You were yeah. aware of that show, I think, right? right? What, I thought she said that on the call. And was it that? Was it when was when did she call in with her friend? Remember? That was Friday. But I Thursday. think she mentioned about The Golden Bachelor. Did that, she? Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, you know what? Wow, she didn't. But you know what's so weird? What is somebody I was golfing with, um, uh, over the weekend had somebody they know that was then they were from New York, but upstate New York, but that was going to be on the Golden Bachelor. That's why I was. Oh no way! I heard this, but I didn't. If you didn't hear this, yeah, yeah. What I was gonna mention is that the Golden Bachelor divorced already. When, like, three months. It's been three months. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think three months. That's why it's just it's it's yeah. it's pathetic that reality shows are allowed to exist. Honestly, like, um, it why, is kind of crazy. So dude. like, so like, like, yeah, into like, it. Like, I, I'm. Oh my god, people like, watch it. So it's yeah, like, yeah, it's like. So you're hey. trying to tell me you don't think like there's like some meetings about what they're gonna do, what they're gonna say. It's like it's all just like. Oh, know, it's come- scripted. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, are you kidding me, dude? <laughs> <laughs> come on wait so you were golfing with someone who knows someone's gonna be on the show like, like the yes. guy like he's gonna be so the it bachelor was a father's son and right. i think it was the father's friend that was gonna be on the show that's pretty cool yeah but it just it's so weird that like oh oh, but you weren't i don't know what okay okay but for some reason i thought you were gonna tell me you knew somebody that was gonna be on the gold bachelor no. but you could see why i would get that confused. yes i i do understand now <laughs> how we arrived I'm not talking at this. about the golden Bachelor, bachelor with dude. anybody else yeah <laughs> uh but yeah and then uh matt talking about the bubba two and three years so obviously scotty the first golfer to to uh mm-hmm. do that since bubba um and yes i do oh. remember that the masters um and then talking about the divorce the golf the guma <laughs> <laughs> oh my god yeah, that's definitely, so funny. definitely riled for for all of that uh matthew that uh that is for sure. Um, but uh, yeah, so a lot to to talk about. Oh, yeah, um, so much, dude. But uh, let's start in the world of Major League Baseball. Works at a hundred miles an hour. Fourteen strikeout. Too deep to left field. There it goes. See ya. All right, all right. So obviously, um, you know, last night at the Horseshoe, we did our uh, weekend recaps of of both the Yankees and the Mets, and and like we said, um, you know, yesterday. Um, you know, both winning two out of three winning series. So obviously, you know, excitement on, on both of our sides here. Um, but I did want to mention, you know, we were watching the Padres and the Dodgers and uh, the Padres hang on. Uh, you know, they they had that big three run, I believe, seventh inning. Yeah, seven inning is the the uh, hiccups continue here uh, the day after Augusta yeah. National. <laughs> um, so they hang on six to three here. Um, and, um, you know, take two out of three from the Dodgers. So it's kind of interesting. I mean, I guess they had a slower start. They won a couple and, and on the broadcast, they were talking about like under shill, it's a better group. There were issues yeah. last year. Um, they are just nine and nine, but I mean, I know like the Dodgers have always been their nemesis and they take two out of three. I mean, do you think that means anything? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I mean, I think you just said it. That but the, the the biggest thing to take away from I feel like this series is the fact that they have someone, a manager, um, who seems to know how to manage a team and a lot of different personalities and brings his experience to the table. Um, again, you know, we talk about Mike Schultz a ton of times, you know, managed a lot with the Cardinals, had some successful years, had some not so successful years, but still, you know, lengthy career, seemed to have the respect of the ball club. And I think with a group of guys like you have over there for the Padres here, I mean, you know, we know about Machado. We know how he can be acting up. We know about Tatis Jr. even as well. Um, And like I said, to have a manager who can really, like, ring in these players and have them focused and dialed in on, like, winning um, is only going to improve them. And, I mean, it it was a very interesting game. I was listening to a little bit on the radio on the way back and stuff. Um, I really honestly can't believe – some of the like jams that you Darvish got out of 
Yeah. Um, it w- it was pretty cool. I feel like he had like a good field behind him. It felt like that the ball team played like a full team, you know, because mm-hmm. um, Darvish did not have a good outing. Um, and there was several times where you saw like bases loaded or two men on with only one out, and you saw the defense kind of busting their ass to turn double plays, you know, to make uh, throws out at the plate, dude. Um, so it, it was pretty cool. And I don't know. Also, remember that that guy who threw the ball back after the home run? Yeah. I, I like saw afterwards when I got home why they interviewed him and everything, and he threw a different ball back. Really? Yeah, dude. So he caught the ball, and then they sh- in the replay he reaches in his pocket and gets another ball and throws it back, and then they fucking interviewed him and called him out like, "Why did you do that?" And he's like, "Oh, like I'm a lifelong Dodgers fan, becoming since I was a kid, and I know that if I were to like catch this like, catch a ball here." And not throw it back, I get hounded by the fans. So I always bring an extra ball just in case. Oh wow! And I was like, I, I knew I was ready. I was like, Oh Machado, he's a big hitter. I'm gonna like get ready, and he was ready for it. He caught wow. it and chucked the, the different ball back. What do you think? I, it feels like you're tight, basically. That's kind of a chief move, dude. Yeah. Like, don't you think? And he got caught doing it too. That's so bad. Um, but the one thing I I I I do get like I I get both sides of it. Yeah. Um, because you're at a game, it, it's so hard to catch a foul ball or whatever home run so like it's kind of tough mm. that you have to give it back but then again if the other team hits it what are you really excited about exactly with it? And it's dude. not like a milestone home run or anything right and he did make a, a pretty solid catch yeah like he jumped up and snagged it um and that was a bare hand or a no the glove okay yeah. but i do always wonder like when people catch stuff like with their bare hands sometimes like how are their hands not like fuck because like, isn't it hit like really hard yeah you would think so i mean their hands got to be ringing you know yeah, but i mean i guess you get it in the meat right here right i guess dude i mean i feel like if you make a little bit of a mistake you can probably like break a finger if you yeah know. but i mean if, it, if it's you and you have like a liner coming out of you, like you just you go for it like oh yeah, yeah i'm gonna go for like, it Like even though you might break your fingers or you think it just for whatever reason it just doesn't doesn't happen like that or or is it most people they're catching it when it's high up in the air so it doesn't hurt as much yeah i guess so i mean matt and that, that ball is still coming down probably yeah. like pretty hard and fast so it's like it's yeah. gonna hurt regardless but i mean i'm still i'm not gonna not try i'm not gonna avoid the ball i'm gonna try and catch the ball yeah i do yeah. wonder though if like people would like, break their hands i know i've never really heard of that to be honest <laughs> no dude. but Maybe they'd be too embarrassed right to- i mean i feel like if you do break your hand catching a home run ball i feel like like the ball club would probably be like, oh, like, like pay, give you some free tickets, you know, like pay for yeah, the bill. But then maybe. They, they always have their exclusions and the risk. And that's why there's always those signs about balls coming into play and the liability. Oh, yeah. And yeah. All that stuff. Dude, it's crazy that they, that you see signs for that at hockey games too. Yeah. Like, you can get hit by a puck. I mean, I feel like that would be way worse. Take out your teeth. Oh. How about that, Bill? Um, how about this scene at Sedona? Having a coffee. <laughs> Having a coffee on the deck at the Airbnb, Matthew says, looking at the Sedona Mountains and watching you guys. I don't know how it gets better. That description, I mean, so vivid, almost reminds me of something that Michael Butka would say about beers in Southern California. In Southern California on the beach with the babes, and dude. Tatum. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I, I definitely agree with that, dude. Michael says Tatum. The yeah. way. Uh, and then he's talking about the good weekend and about Otani gambling it. Uh, you think he did? No, I don't I mean, think so either, dude. He's done with that. I mean, he can't do anything now. I mean, he's, you don't think so? Come on. I mean, I don't know. I think it's kind of weird, dude, that they still. By the way, he sucked. I think it was zero for well, three no, was or something. Say, too, like, and the Dodgers. I mean, eleven and seven shirts, fine. Right. Kind of an uninspiring start for a team that, and I was ahead of this, and I think you kind of were too. Everybody just said, oh, well, I mean, you know, who's going to beat the Dodgers? And I said, well, like, let's wait a second. I mean, it's it's not always that easy. Mm, no, uh, it really isn't. Uh, he was one for four last night, two Ks. Um, oh, and it's, he's hitting 338, though, but he only has, like, three home runs, right? Yeah. But, I mean, 338 is 338. Yeah, that's actually really great. I don't know. I mean, last night, he did not look good. That's you, yeah. dude. He was taking some hacks at, like, sliders low and yeah. away, like, just fooled. Um, but I don't know, man. I mean, we'll see how the Dodgers do. Mm. Um, again, I mean, I feel like their their pitching is always kind of been underwhelming, always like riddled with injuries too. Like, right. That's that's always a question mark for them. But 
I don't know, man. I mean, it's pretty interesting how they still heavily advertise heavily. like Otani. I don't know. I don't think they would like bring it back just a little bit, dude. I mean, I guess. I mean, isn't didn't his interpreter plead guilty? I mean, I know it's all a charade, but I mean, isn't that technically what's happened or no? I believe technically that is what's happened, dude. Um, so I guess that's that's what they're going with. That you know, he was robbed and um, swindled. That's such a ridiculous freaking statement. Um, but uh, it, it is weird because I just feel like there was so much positivity, um, you know, around Otani, and now I feel yeah. like there's not. It's like yeah. the opposite almost. Yeah, and I, honestly, I really do wonder how like the Dodgers, like his teammates, feel about this. Because again, I mean, wait, why is your brother saying Yankees need to get rid of that gambling pitcher? Is she just talking about Otani thinking we're talking about the Yankees? Because there's no maybe there's nobody out the yeah, Yankees no. that's gambling it, right? I don't think so. Not that you, that, that we know, I guess. Because my mother has some inside information. Yeah, yeah, I think that's, that's what so she's funny. talking about. Yeah, but, and we know that they're not going to do that given the marketing revenue yeah there's no way they're gonna get rid of him which is pretty crazy double um, standards yeah he said the dodgers she said the yeah dodgers, dodgers yeah. yeah yeah um but yeah i wonder again like the clubhouse remember when he got married and everyone was like oh we had no idea he had a girlfriend yeah like it's like very suspicious like what is the like, don't you think that would like cause some type of commotion in the clubhouse um i mean i don't know it definitely would be kind of a standoffish guy i feel like at that point uh wait what do you think about the matthew's suggestion here mary let's go to hc and throw it all on black <laughs> um my mother does not play roulette typically uh -huh. um and i think maybe there's something a little extra in matthew's coffee this morning it could be could, could be. be the sedona who knows dude uh wait, what were you saying though about otani and i'm just saying like the clubhouse has got to think he's weird right like the whole yeah. the gambling the random wife out of nowhere like the dodgers i think knew maybe <sighs> A minute before the official announcement was made that he was signing there yeah that's right dude the, yeah. The, yeah exactly the, the way you speak to him and stuff like that like through people like he doesn't necessarily like go just go out and like make public statements like and i get i mean you know the guy wants to have a private life that that's fine but i mean when the players that you you know see every day don't know like who you like isn't that weird yeah it it is it is um so Kind of going to be, you know, fascinating to see you know, how everything plays out. You think he has like, you think he's a clean slate the rest of the year, like no issues? Uh, also, it's sketchy the Dodgers won't let him talk to the media or anything. That's what I mean. The very, very like protective of him, or maybe he's just protective of himself. But yeah, I mean, it's just one of those things. I think it goes back to seems like it means it is exactly. Know? Yeah, exactly, exactly, dude. Um, and again, it should be interesting to see what else comes up about him this season. Do you think I know there's really no definitive way to to measure this? Um, but do you think that um, uh, this whole thing will end up down the road costing them from or preventing them from winning a title? The like the gambling thing? Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't think so. That 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 that's what it's that's what's weird about it is that it seems like that Otani is going to get out of here like without any issues. But, uh, but I'm talking and about then, internal like, issues, outside perceptions that any you know, because I don't know. I just feel like it's as good as the talent is on the team. I just feel like it. It just it just seems like it's not like it, there's going to be issues. Yeah, I mean, again, that's that uh, I was, you know, saying like, oh, like, what else could pop up about him this season, you know, because we're it's only April and he's had so many different storylines, um, you know, about himself this season. But I mean, I don't know. I mean, regardless, at the end of the day, there's still a very talented ball club. And like mm -hmm. we saw, I mean, he's batting 338. So clearly, Otani doesn't seem very affected by it. Um, so, I mean, hey, I mean, if the guy still plays well. I think the Dodgers are still going to go far. But any any concern about the pitching? Um, you know, obviously Kershaw out. Right. Bueller is Bueller out. He should be coming back. I think this season. Dustin May Dustin out May, for a while. Out. Oh my um, gosh! They just dude. put Bobby Miller on the IL. Yeah. Tiny won't pitch this year, and then they walked the park last night. Fourteen walks as a team. I mean, I don't know if I've ever seen that. Yeah. No. I mean, it's that, like Chapman they're, they're, through every pitch. Literally. I mean, I don't know. Their their, their bullpen is always. I feel like been a little bit banged up. Um, and then again, when you're re relying on Paxton now, I mean, that I guess would be maybe one outlier in terms of why they wouldn't 
or at least not go far in the postseason. I think they're going to make the postseason regardless. Yeah. Um, but again, I mean, postseason, you know, pitching is ever more important. Um, and any mistakes you have there is certainly amplified. It should be interesting to see, I guess, where they can go in terms of picking up a pitcher. But I don't know, man. I mean, it's pretty crazy. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Especially since they have like Otani, who can't pitch. Like, yeah. That really, at the end of the day, is crazy. But also, I feel like nobody's talking about it's his second time at John. Like, and is he right? It, right? It is. His it's second. a second. Yeah. Like, how? How is he? Like, I feel like there isn't like a evidence of that really working too well. Yeah, like, I don't know. Pitchers who have probably had... screwed. Oh yeah, dude. It, you're rooting for it, basically. For Degrom to be screwed? Yeah. No, I never root for it. <laughs> I mean, come on, dude. His his story is sad. Like at, at the end of the day, even though he kind of has a World Series now and has a Cy Young, multiple I, Cy Young. But I just, I I guess I just don't get is like, where did he go wrong? Like, how did he get to this point? Like, you know what I mean? Was it that when he was with the Mets, like stuff was missed? Because it, it seemed like it was like years to build up to this point. Yeah, and I mean, remember when? Um, what was it? Two seasons ago or three seasons ago when he was in and out. Like one start here, right. out for a while, right. scans are negative, MRIs are negative, x rays are negative. And then it's like, well, what's wrong with him then? You know, like right. they, could, they could figure it out almost. But I mean, I, I don't know, man. Again, in terms of what went wrong, I don't, I, I don't know. I think his body was just breaking down. Again, the guy threw 96, 97 mile an hour sliders, you know, right. um, and he hammered fastballs like over 100 consistently. So, I mean, um, I don't know, dude. I think it's just that wear and tear, you know? Um, and it's interesting because that is a huge topic around the MLB now. You know, we oh, saw Glass now and Strider. Strider get, you know, all those interviews of pitchers talking about how, like, they need to make a change. But, I mean, I don't know, dude. It's it's tough. Like, I understand, again, Glass now was saying how, you know, the, the, the cracking down of certain substances being used, um, you know, is causing him to now have to grip the ball more, which, which puts more strain, which he believes is what's causing his injuries. But what, what do you think about that? Um, I mean, look, the MLB is clearly trying to dictate some type of not level of play, but pace of game, I guess I should mm -hmm. say. Um, and hey, if the MLB wants to do that, pitchers are going to have to adapt. So it's like, I mean, I know we're in this world now where, you know, it is like a lot of, you know, vertical and horizontal movement, the spin rate of your pitches and stuff like that. But the pitchers are going to excuse me, have to make an adjustment, you know, excuse me. Um, and if the MLB wants, you know, pitchers to not be able to throw those ridiculous, you know, sliders or anything or the sweepers. And that's them. I mean, the pitchers are going to have to stop it. No. Um, yeah, but I'm saying. It, but do you think, like, for the health of the game, like, should they, like, add some of it back? Is this just because they don't want to have to go back on their word? Or do you feel like it's, like, better this way because we don't want, you know, 15 strikeouts per team every game? Yeah, again, I mean, it, it really is depends on, on, on what you want. You know, you want a higher scoring game. More action. The ball you want more play. action. Than, but, again, like, now you're, like, who, who's – you're going to have to stop these pitchers from doing that, from throwing right. those pitches, which, I mean, is going to be really hard. There's going to be – I'm sure there's going to be a lot of pitchers who just say, fuck it anyway, I'm going to throw my sliders the way I want to because um, I can. I don't know, man. It's a real it's a real tough subject. Um, I mean, if you were to ask me specifically, I don't mind the 15 strikeout games. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I think that's cool. Um, I just when it's not your team. Well, yeah. Well, obviously, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, <laughs> like, like, no, yeah, it's tough. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we had some tough years with that. Let me. Um, let me but I, no, I think it's cool to see what pitchers can do, though. You know, like it, it right. is super impressive. Um, so I don't know. I think at this point in the way of the game, you know, you allow you know pitchers to use certain substances. Again, I think you know what Glass now was mostly talking about was a, a mixture of like rosin and sweat or or a mixture of rosin and sunscreen or something like that you know mm -hmm. whereas this is on your body whatever that's totally fine and again you can dictate you know how much if it's egregious you know um certainly umpires can can then do their checks and stuff like that but i think they're just being a little bit too strict you know about at that it. point about yeah. it um and that's why you know you're seeing these pitchers again last time i talked about it you got a fresh ball you know after you know foul whatever and it's so chalky 
So how do you, I mean, is there a way to menu? Is it like in the manufacturing at this point? Oh, of the baseballs. Yeah, that, that needs to be better. Oh, that's an interesting topic. Um, interesting point. I mean, I, I, I guess maybe. Yeah. Right? Maybe, maybe you can try and redesign the ball a little bit. Because remember all um, these things about how, like, it's, oh, every year it's different. Remember the players would say that. How, yeah. Because what, the MLB bought Rawlings, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. They did. Um, so it just seems like, you know, let's, let's figure this out. Cause I, I don't think even with people throwing harder, working out harder, it shouldn't be that, you know, every year we have to have 10 to 15, like really good pitchers miss a season for elbow surgery. Yeah. Which is, it is really crazy how many pitchers are missing. This yeah. Year. Uh, a lot of comments between your mother, Matthew, the coffee. Um, let's see. Um, yes, we'll go back up here. Um, Matthew, we got it. Oh, wait, hold on. Do we have to go back up? Oh, wait, we, yeah, that's right. We have to go. This is pretty far here. Okay, cool. Um, um, probably should I gamble it all in Sedona? Should I gamble it all in Sedona? He says, I'm sure, I'm sure you should actually. Yeah, you should. Matthew. Absolutely, dude. Uh, and he says, it's also sketchy. Dodgers don't want to talk to the media or anything. He says, I hate the media just as much as the next guy, um, those rap bastards, but that just looks like they know something and don't want him to slip and say something to incriminate himself. Mm -hmm. um, oh, definitely. Especially after the, the translator, the lying, going back on his word. The, oh, God, dude. His interview, the second, that was so weird. Yeah. Like, the second it was announced, the interview, he came out and was like, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. And, and then he came out again and said, I lied. Planned. Yeah, scheme, it really is, dude. The charade. Um, And he will, because the MLB is covering for him, saying, you know, that Otani's not going anywhere. Um, Whole thing is sketchy, dude. He says, gamble your house. My mother says there should be a rule that you have to be an American to play American sports. What do you think about that one? Um, I mean, that would cut down on a lot. Like you probably cut the league in half. But what about Ludwig Obert? Like, do we really want to send him on the DP yeah. World Tour? Well, technically, I mean, there's tournaments that are not in America for the PGA, right? So uh, only a the Scottish couple. Open. Yeah, literally, it's like the Scottish Open. Open, and then some of the lower events, like right. the stuff in Bermuda and Mexico. Um, you know, stuff like that. Um, and then uh, Matthew says, Tony, it's not sad. Come on, bud. Um, I think it is kind of sad for uh, for DeGrom. He's saying he got a ring, screwed the Mets. How are you? Don't feel bad, but, but he was bud. tight, though. That's why I'm surprised you're not just like, fuck him. Because I feel like towards the end, he was very, like, tight. But, uh, yeah, again, I mean, I don't I don't know. Like the, the whole, like, didn't figure out what was wrong with him for a while. So you think that's what caused the tension between him and the team? Maybe. Uh, maybe. I mean, again, the medical staff, like, I, I, feel, I feel like we've seen them drop the ball a lot in New York. Yeah. Like, how do you not figure it out, dude? Right, and that's where we're supposed to be the best, best <clears throat> doctors in America. Literally. Are, Tony, you know? So. And, and you're dealing with your best player, like, right. like, your most important player, and you can't figure this out. You right. know, it's, like, kind of crazy. Um, and then Matthew says the pitching mechanics are crazy on the shoulder, literally not designed to whip like that in pitching motion, and the wear and tear just adds up. My mother says a lot of smoke and mirrors in baseball. Um, Kenley Jansen, Gabriel says, uh, the baseball quality sucks but ass. Also, Kenley Jansen. Sucks ass? Yeah. Yeah, he does. Um, and then uh, Matthew says, well, the studio set up. Can't wait to see it, he Can't says. Can't wait for you to see it either, Matthew. Uh, my mother says you missed my comment about him getting married to become a citizen. I believe his wife is from Japan as well, though. I so believe. Uh, neither of them are citizens. Neither That's of them what are you're citizens. Alluding to. Well, actually, I don't know. I mean, is Otani has got to be a citizen by now, right? Because he's been Six working years, here, years, right? Doesn't it take sometimes like 10, 15 years to become a citizen? I don't know the whole thing. Like, <sighs> I don't know. We probably dude. wouldn't pass the test like to become a citizen. I think I could probably pass the test. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it was about American history. American history. <laughs> Thomas dude. Jefferson, Tony. Yeah, I can get enough about, about American history. Uh, I'm just, I'm just so I, no more tests, Tony. No, no more, more tests. <laughs> okay. Um, and she says I doubt it. That he's a citizen now. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That 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 makes sense. Yeah, I guess. I, I mean, I don't know. Who knows? Especially with someone in that caliber, do they just like fast track their citizenship? Does it matter? Does he even want to be a citizen? Yeah. Probably not. Probably just wants to go to Japan in the off season type of thing. Yeah, I'm um, sure he does, dude. Very sketchy. So while we we have a second here, let's catch up. I know it's always a, a challenge for us here. Um, I just want to double check this so I believe what it is. Would it make sense that I don't – did we not add everything up Thursday, Friday, I think? Is that what it was? 
on Friday. I know we didn't Friday. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, that makes sense. On Friday, we didn't add anything up. Like, we were caught up through Thursday. Right, yeah, we were caught up. Yeah, we just made our picks on Friday. Um, Or no, or is it caught up through Thursday? Um, Let me see if I have it in my notes here. So I feel like Thursday was like a big catch-up day, no? Let's see something. Uh, Thursday's date here. Oh, so it, it might just be one. Uh, no, no, no. It's two days. It's Thursday and Friday. Yeah, Thursday, Friday. Friday. Yeah. Um. Oh boy. All right. All right. Let's 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 hammer it. Let's in hammer. Here. Let's all do right. it. Yeah. So starting with Thursday, um, baseball. Yes. Okay. So right you Mets in the over. One and zero or two and zero. Mariners in the under. Mariners. Well, wait a second, actually. Mariners. Wednesday. Oh, is this Wednesday? Because that we did our picks Wednesday, so we really didn't do Wednesday or Thursday. There's no way. Or is it just? Oh, okay. No, no, no. I I was wrong. All right. So, okay. I I got it now. Actually. Um. Uh, so Mets in the <laughs> over. Uh yes, two now. Brewers in the over. Postponed. Royals in the over. Four now. Rangers in the over. Four and two. Pirates in the over. Um, let's check the over. Oh, four and four. Uh Orioles in the over. Just take the over for everything. I guess I did. Six and four. Bang. Uh, and then then went on to hockey. So six and four. Six and four. I'll write that down. Yeah. Six and four. Not bad, I guess, dude. Let's see. On to hockey here from Thursday. The eleventh. All right, what do we Gaps got? Caps in the over. Uh oh, gotcha. Oh and two, right? So six and six. Probably oh and two. Oh, oh. Half. Let's okay. go. So, so seven and five. Seven and five. Uh, and then um, Maple Leafs in the over. Eight and six. Lightning in the under. Um, nine and seven. Panthers in the over. Ten and eight. Uh, Rangers in the under. Eleven and nine. Uh, Penguins in the over. Thirteen and nine. Islanders in the under. 15 and 9. Stars in the under. 16 and 10. Kraken in the under. Um, 17 and 11. Kings in the over. 18 and 12. All right, so write that down. 18 and 12. 18 and 12, got it. And then we just have to do Friday. For MLB and hockey. Yeah. All right. But that was shorter because we just right. did the abbreviated. That's right, the abbreviated frenzy, dude. Um, okay, uh, so baseball. Mets right. in the under. Um, Mets in the under. <sighs> baseball totals aren't in the sixes usually, right? I feel like sometimes six and a half, no? Eight and a half. Eight and a half. Um, sorry, what, what was it? Mets in the over? Under. Mets in the under? Okay, cool. Two and oh. Braves in the under. Uh, Braves and the under. I'm sure it was uh, could have been nine and a half. It was eight and a half. Damn it. So one and one. So it's uh, three and one. Uh, Angels in the under. I want to say, yeah, two and oh. So five. Uh, Dodgers in the under. Dodgers. Ah, five and three. Blues in the under. This is not the hockey, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> it's been sure. Uh, let's see. Blues and the under. Oh, no, dude. So it's five and five. Blackhawks in the under. Oh, my God. I took that. Mm -hmm. Um, I want to say it was six and a half. So I could have, I could have gotten the under and six and a half. So six, six. Oilers in the over. Jesus Christ, dude. Six and eight. Uh, nice in the over. Ah, eight and eight. And then ducks in the order. Ninety nine. Uh and then what's the so what's your total here? So ninety nine should be twenty seven and twenty one. 
Okay, so 27 and 21. Hold that thought. Yes. Um, 27 and 21, so that's 327 and 262. All right. So 327, 262. And then, uh, all right, and then so Thursday baseball for me. Mm -hmm. You ready? Yeah. Mets in the over? Trudeau. Reds in the under? Uh, postponed. Astros in the over. Um, Astros in the over. It's um. So what? You're three and one. Rangers in the over. Uh, three and three. Uh, Pirates in the under. Um, four and four. Uh, Orioles in the over. Six and four. And then on to hockey Thursday. Sorry, hockey on Thursday. So you're six, six and four. four. Yes. All right. Hockey Thursday. Uh, Capitals in the under. Caps in the under. Um, six and a half. Five and a half. So you hit the oh, so oh and two there for hockey. So six and six. Uh, Maple Leafs in the over. Oh, but I had the under though. So oh, you're the under. under. Yeah. So that's a one and one for hockey. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so, all right. So you. So you're seven and five. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so five. And then... I thought it was six and six for baseball, no? Didn't you say that? No, you were six and four for baseball. Oh, six and four. So seven and five. Gotcha. Yeah, seven okay, five. Maple Leafs in the over. Uh, Maple Leafs in the over. So that was what? Seven... Uh, No, you were seven and five. Now you're eight and six. Lightning in the under. Um, Nine and seven. Panthers in the over. Ten and eight. Rangers in the under. Uh, Eleven and nine. Penguins in the under. 12 and 10. Islanders in the under. 14 and 10. And Jets in the under. 16 and 10. Uh, Sharks in the under. 18 and 10. Flames in the over. Goddamn. 18 and 12. <laughs> so mark that down. 18 and 12. And then baseball Friday. Okay, baseball Friday. Back in here. Let's uh, go. Yankees in the over. So postponement. Okay. Uh, twins in the under. Zero oh, and two. Uh, Rays in the under. Um, two and two. Uh, Mariners in the under. Mariners in the under. Uh, four and two. Hurricanes in the under. Over to hockey. Uh, it's five and three. Uh, Predators and under. Um, I think that was six and a half. Yeah, I think so too. So it was five and three. So now you're seven and three. Oilers in the over. Seven and five. Wild in the over. Um, eight and six. Flames in the over. Ten and six. Ten and six. So what does that bring me to? <clears throat> Twenty-eight and eighteen. Oh, so finally a good stretch for me. Yeah, dude. It's been a while since that. Okay, so twenty-eight and eighteen into so it's uh let's see, twenty-eight. So that's three oh nine and then eighteen two seven uh wait, eighteen, yeah, two seventy-eight. Two seventy-eight. Um, and I think it's going to be two games off because of the rain out. Yeah. So 327 and 262, 309 and 278. So does that make sense? Yes, it does. Is that it? Perfect. It's not even off a game. No, well, no, no, it should be. Cause I like added up. I had what? 48 points because of my rain outs and you had 46. Because you had one more rain out than I did. Um, Because we both had the Brewers rain out, and then you had the Yankees on Friday. Um, Okay, so no, I'm saying because I'm 309 plus 278 is 587. Okay. okay? And then you are 327 plus 262, 589. So it's the two games because of the rain out. Okay, so I got an extra... Two picks, right? Because I 
Well, one game. Of, one game. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. So we'll we'll work that in. But we're, <laughs> we're finally caught up here. Uh, so that means I forgot even where we were, but we are in the world of Major League Baseball. Um, and uh, yeah, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Let's sure? just do it. It's time for a baseball. <laughs> <laughs> Frenzy. Yes. All right, let's go. You want to take first game today? Uh, I, right, we'll do three each still, yeah. or do you want to do the full slate of games? Because there's a lot of games here. Uh, what do you think? You think probably the three? Because then we. Yeah. yeah. Was, okay, it, yeah, the three. So. Um, well, I can look at hockey if you want. I want to. There's got to be like a good of games today. Yeah, yeah, oh, three. Yeah, yeah. We'll do threes. Okay. Like that. So the abbreviated baseball frenzy, obviously starting in Toronto. Luis Hill, Chris Bassett. Um, you know, so I think the deal is here, honestly, I think the Yankees will hit around Bassett early. Um, oh, yeah. And I think the key for the Yankees here to really kind of separate themselves in this match is to get heel to, you know, get them through through five and a half, six innings, sort of to kind of ease the burden on the bullpen. We saw that come back to bite when they had to have Caleb Ferguson pitch an extra innings yesterday. Um, so I'm going to say heel throws six innings, gives up two runs, strikes out 10. Wow. Uh, Yankee offense over Bassett early and Aaron Judge Homer for the second consecutive day. Uh, Yankees win this game six to three. So it would be the Yankees and, and the, the over. over. Dude, love that. Um, so looking at this slate today, ooh, Lorenzen, huh? Mm-hmm. Um, no, I'm gonna go with the Mets. Why not? It's 7 10. It's tonight. It's Adrian Hauser, dude. Um, this guy, I definitely am looking for a big spot from him. Um, there's Martin Perez, I, you know, obviously, solid start to the year so far for him 1.89 ERA, 19 innings pitched, 15 Ks, only five walks, one home run given up. Um, Hauser is to give, give up a home run actually this year, which is great to see. Obviously, we know the Mets bats have been heating up. That is where I think the key is here. They have to try and get the Perez early, try and get you know that pitch count up. Hopefully, five innings get to the Pirates bullpen, which I don't know, I think is a little lacking. Over under eight and a half, you know, Alonzo's tied, I think, for the lead league in home runs with six right now. Brett Beatty leading the team in batting average at three. 15 let's go there nimmo has been so hot leading off to um gotta see him like you know first pitch just jump on it dude uh coming off of this you know series win against kansas city i think they can win back-to-back series here at home uh definitely gotta improve that three and six home record too as well but i say the mets win this game um i'll say six to three so just hitting the over baby Let's Yankees go. over, Mets over. Uh, next game up here. Uh, give me an old friend of Tony's here, Seth Lugo. Uh, in the Windy City, I think he'll be able to twirl six scoreless innings here against a laughing stock team in the White Sox. Came to the city off to that great start, despite dropping the two or three to the Mets over the weekend. Bobby Witt Jr. hitting for the cycle in this one. I'm going to say 7-0. Uh, Royals over the White Sox, so the under. under. Wow, Royals in the under. Dude. Royals a lot in the of under. confidence in yeah. Seth Lugo, dude. Pitch well. Um, yes, absolutely. Um, next pick. Ooh, dude, the Braves. I don't know, man. Um, oh, you know what? I mean, that's got to be a surefire victory. Ah. Right there. Yes, yes, it is. Dodgers here at that's home. So Dodger Stadium, 10, 10 p.m. The visiting team. The Washington Nationals. Give me a freaking break. Mitchell Parker. Don't know anything about him. Anyone? No. Uh, seems to be making his first start this season, potentially even first MLB start at all. Um, and he's going to be matched up against the 3 0 Tyler Glass now. Um, obviously, you know, a big uh, advocate now for protecting some pitchers and their arms and the health and whatnot with the balls and whatnot. So I want to say he pitches seven scoreless innings, uh, maybe two walks, three hits, no earned runs. But 11 Ks and the Dodgers easily win this game. I'll say five to nothing, dude. Mm-hmm. Um, so give me Dodgers and the under, Brian. All right. So next game here, um, I am going to go with the, hmm, you know what? Padres. I think they continue the momentum. Joe Musgrove has gotten tattooed to start this season. I think he's going to throw six innings of two run ball. 
And I think Fernando Tatis Jr. with two home runs. Uh, we're going to see the Padres defeat the, the Brewers in Milwaukee four to two. So the Padres in the under. Padres in the under. Let's go Padres, dude. Um, all right. Let's see. Next game. Last game here for me. Um, Patrick Sandoval, Zach Eflin, dude. Um, they're taking the Giants from Miami. This is tough here. Um, <clears throat> uh, I guess give me the Giants over Miami here. Um, obviously, the Giants, who uh, are going to be a team the Mets will be seeing soon um, in San Francisco. We have Kyle Harrison on the mound here. This is um, the train to Mamarinek. The next stop is <laughs> Harrison. Um, obviously not a great start to the season for him. Maybe not so obvious, but four, seven, six ERA, 17 innings pitched, 17 Ks, uh, but he's given up four home runs and 17 hits as well. But let's try and dial that back here for Kyle Harrison, um, against a struggling Miami Marlins lineup here. Um, not a ton of offense going. Obviously, know about Jake Berger with his three dingers, Nick Gordon, also three dingers. Um, and Brian De La Cruz batting pretty well there. But nonetheless, I think Harrison does fan nine batters over six innings, two earned runs, you know, getting his ERA down a little bit. And the Giants go on to win this one. I'll say six to four. So Giants in the over. Giants okay. in the over. Marlins go down to three and 14, one and 10 at home. And just like that, that is your baseball Frenzy, and you said over or under for Giants? Under for the Giants. Under, under. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Gotcha, 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 um, dude. But yeah, another week of, of Major League Baseball upon us, so definitely excited for that. And uh, me and Matt will be at the game Saturday as well, so I know he's jacked up for that. Oh, yeah, dude. Um, Ray's Yankees, so let's go. Um, and he's talking about uh, Otani's wife being a gambling addict, Tony. Also saying, what do you mean? <laughs> you think so, dude? And then Josh be the Frenzy. Uh, jacked up, riled up, um, and yeah, I'm excited to see uh, the Yankees kind of bounce back tonight. Um, what What are you most interested for me for the Yankees? It's it's heel kind of dialing it in, getting the control down. Uh, Matthew pumped as well. Um, but what what are you what are you looking for in this game with the Mets, with Hauser, with the Pirates? Um. I mean, Hauser, I, I, that, the most I'm looking forward to is him hopefully pitching well. Pitching well. Getting yeah. some length, dude. Six innings, please, for the love of Christ, dude. Like, somebody go six innings here. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, but, yeah, so let's go. Um, and let's go to the <laughs> worlds of the National Hockey League. And here he comes. McDavid shoots. Top shelf. He scores. Captain with the Are you kidding me? Turn. Side of the net. Between the legs and they score! Nothing! David Pasternak. The silver trophy to the Golden Knights. All right, all right. So tonight is the final game of the New York Rangers season That is here. right, buddy. Home versus Ottawa. Um, and is it for as far as we know, Tony, it's a it has to be right a a win in in for the or do the um uh or do they have a game in hand? Is that the problem? Um, I don't believe because they're I guess the, 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 the Hurricanes right now. I believe their last game is against the Blackhawks on Tuesday. Um, where is the NHL standings? Oh, there they are. Um, and go to wild card because that kind of so it gives you a little bit of picture. Um, so yeah, so the same amount of games played as Carolina here. Okay. Um, like I guess the Carolina's last game is with the Blackhawks tomorrow, I believe, or maybe even Wednesday. Um, uh, but nonetheless, I mean, if you know, we're up by a point, so if the Rangers do win, they that's it, they win the Metropolitan, they, they win the Metropolitan, and they win the President's Trophy. Uh, okay, because they have the one point advantage over Dallas as well. Yeah, so this is a, a vital game here. Um, oh yeah, dude. And, and one, uh, well, go, go to the. Did they lose to Ottawa this year? Or no. Uh, let's see. Um, if you just I, go to the game, I want to say they have. Honestly, go down. Um. Oh yeah, this is Monday. Very good game cast. 
it'll have like the season yeah, series. The season. So they yeah, did they lose did in okay in Ottawa, but then Four and came back in January. Um, this is big, no? Um, this is huge, dude. Again, this is um. You know, a lot of people are talking about the curse of the President's Trophy. Do you really want it? Yada, yada, yada. Um, I, I personally do want it. I think it's it's a great accolade to have for a team. Um, and let's break the curse. Again, I'll, I'll say it again. 94, they won the President's Trophy. They won they won the Cup that same Swept year as the well. Islanders. So the Islanders first round. The last time they had a playoff series against each other, actually, uh, we found out yesterday. Um, and... <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I, I understand it's like, oh, like if you're not first in the Metropolitan, like you could be playing the Islanders. Um, but I don't know, man. I mean, I think even playing the Caps is fine to regardless. Whoever the Rangers play, I'm not like they're going to beat them. Mm -hmm. And then honestly, like good, like Hurricanes can can, you know, beat the Islanders and then we'll be the Hurricanes. Like, let's go, dude. Like, that's easy money in my eyes. Um, well, you never know. I mean, Islanders could upset the Hurricanes, and then you'd be the Islanders. So it's even easier at that point. But I know but, you said that can't happen, though, no? The huh? Islanders being the Hurricanes. I don't think it's going to happen. Yeah. Though. But you never know. You never know. You never know, but I am guessing not. I would I would put money like, would, on no. Would that be just as surprising as the Panthers beating the Bruins last year or no? Yeah, I would definitely equate it to that. Yeah, and that happened, so... Next yeah, but the Islanders know. aren't the Panthers. But next dude. thing you know, you know, you have uh, Jeremy Shap outside the UBS arena. Oh my god! Right though, or no? No, yeah. I mean, again, it could happen. NHL playoffs unpredictable. Um, but Brian, come on. I mean, I mean, the Hurricanes. I mean, what, what would Chokery think right now if we talk about this, dude? <laughs> No, no, I told you, I don't think, I yeah. would just kind of more get in your feel. I don't think it's going to happen. The devil's advocate. Um, I feel like it's more for home ice throughout. Fuck the trophy. That's what Josh B says. Give me the home ice. Wow. Fuck the so, trophy. So, but he's just guys. talking about, like, if we were to match up with Dallas in the um, Stanley Cup final, but right. I don't think Dallas is going to be there, so I think we would have it then anyway, or would it still? No, yeah, because no one, no one else would be possible to have more points than us. Yeah, West, no, right? we would have home ice advantage yeah. for sure dude yeah. but dallas i mean maybe they make it out of the second round i don't even know right or no or you think i'm too down on the stars um i mean i don't know that it's tough dude i mean the western conference is is definitely tough obviously i haven't seen a ton of western conference games as much as eastern conference obviously but i i, I would say no i mean mm -hmm. you know people i think are forgetting about the a little bit and even the avalanche and again like golden knights Wild card team, Stanley Cup defending mm. champions, like they're gonna be in it, dude. Even Nashville, they can upset some people. And how about the LA Kings, even too? Like the West is crazy, dude. I think this is a toss up. And look at this. I mean, the point differential is not that much disparaging, I feel like. Mm -hmm. High nineties to low one hundreds, like you know, I feel like, well, yeah, I guess maybe the, the East is a little bit of the same, but you know, Capitals eighty seven points getting that second wild card spot, like Minnesota would have that spot if they were in the East. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And they're eliminated out of the West. So it's interesting. I, you know, you could argue, you know, maybe more so it's, it's competitive coming out of the West. Um, but yeah, if I had to put money on it, we're not going to be see, seeing Dallas in the cup final. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So I'm definitely pumped. Um, and, and I just, it still is crazy. Like I remember watching opening night with you. Um, it was against you and Michael. It Tampa was Bay. against Tampa Bay. Right. Yeah. But that was on the road. <clears throat> I think so. Yeah. I th want to say yes. I believe um, Remos was, was in hand. Oh, yeah, dude. You hungry right now, dude? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Um, and But, yeah, I, I still can't believe that's that's the regular season here. Um, and you look at the numbers, too. Two goals would give Artie 50, um, you know, and then Chris Kreider needs one goal to get 40 goals. Um and I'm just trying to see any other real milestones. Uh, Laf Laffy's one assist away from 30. Do you think that uh, Panarin and Kreider hit their milestones right yeah, there? Yeah, I think I think it's a bloodbath. I think it's just like, I let's think so come too. together, let's get the president's trophy, and let's kick the senator's ass. <laughs> right, though? Uh, no, I think you're absolutely right, dude. Like, they got to come out here, like, fierce. I feel like the last five games, yeah, a little you're seeing the little the let up. The, 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 yeah, yes, dude. <laughs> fumble, dude. Um, so they gotta come out here, like I said, firing first period, just angry. Yeah. Like yeah. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know, man. I mean, I'm again like momentum's everything going into the playoffs. Like you want to end the season out on a win, um, and get the president's trophy. Like you really yeah. do, because that is momentum right there going into the postseason. It's getting mm -hmm. that trophy. 
And if you see it, like you're kind of the favorite to win it, and all of a sudden now you're gonna see Carolina or like Dallas get it. Right. I don't know, dude. That that I think that's gonna be a little hurtful. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh yeah, so let's go. Excited for the game tonight and excited to do an abbreviated <laughs> hockey frenzy. Wow, 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 dude. Uh Mike, you said your season coming to an end. Can't believe it, dude. Uh, but let's get to this frenzy. I'm super stoked for it. Um, you want first pick it again, Brian? Uh, no, good to you. Go ahead. Tell <laughs> us the Rangers. Give it to us. All Give right, us dude. Straight. Let's go. It's MSG. It's the Rangers. It's tickets as low as $110. ESPN is probably lying to us about that, though. Uh, the Rangers minus 235 here at home, over under six and a half against Ottawa. Um, we mentioned the season series tied at one. No way. No how. Are the Rangers losing this game? Uh, most recently, you know, handled their business in Ottawa. Um, beat them 7-2 back in January, late January. Um, and we know, you know, the Rangers come up that nice shootout victory against the Islanders. Uh, no way in hell this game even reaches overtime. I say in regulation, Rangers win 6-2 to two decisively. Panarin gets two goals for 50. Um, Kreider gets his one for 40. Let's freaking go. Lafreniere to assist to Sturkin. No shutout, but nonetheless, a great game. Uh, and like I said, Rangers, I say 6-2. So Rangers and the over, Brian. The dream run continues under Patrick Watt. Give me the Islanders over the Devils tonight. You look at the season series, the Devils have actually won three, the first three games here. So Islanders looking to salvage the final game of this series. Um, and they've been hot, uh, winning four out of five. Devils have lost uh, three out of five. Uh, but I'm going to say Sorokin uh, turning back the clock here and having a 41 save performance. Isles 2 0 at the Prudential Center. So Islanders and the under. Absolutely. Uh, my next game here, I'm going to go Detroit. Kind of crazy scenario. Both Detroit and Washington. Um, same amount of points in the season. I believe what I say, 87. Um, but obviously Washington does get that, um, uh, what should we call it, um, second wild card spot because of the overtime losses here. Um, but nonetheless, Detroit still battling uh, to try and get into the playoffs here. They're playing the Canadiens tonight in Detroit. Uh, Detroit's minus 215, the over-under, I would assume, six and a half. Yes, it is six and a half. Detroit is a must-win game here, um, and they actually have two games left, uh, both against the Canadiens, actually, which is kind of crazy. Back-to-back -back days, back-to-back -back games. That's a crazy schedule right there. Detroit definitely winning this first game. I'm going to say Detroit wins this one. Uh, I'm going to say 5-4 in a shootout, dude. So give me the Red Wings and the over Dylan Larkin with the shootout goal to put them over the top, making the Capitals sweat out the rest of their season as well. All right. For my second selection here, uh, I am going to go with the Oilers over the Sharks. Batting practice, I think, for this Oilers offense uh, at home here. So I'm going to say... The Oilers beat the Sharks 7-1. to one. So the Oilers and the over. Um, absolutely love that. Oilers and the over. Classic Brian pick. Love to see it. Um, let's go to the Capitals game. I was just talking about their storyline with Detroit and everything like that. Um, they're playing the Bruins at home. I'm going to say the Caps lose the second wild card spot, to be honest, tonight as they drop this game to the Bruins, um, setting up a dramatic final game for both of the teams, uh, the Red Wings and Caps, that is. But I'll say, yeah, quiet night. Bruins take care of business. Nothing crazy, dude. Um, I say Bruins win this game 2 to nothing in regulation. Uh, so give me Bruins in the under, Brian. All right. And then for my final selection here, uh, I am going to go with the Penguins, uh, who have been kind of on a run here. Uh, they're hosting the Predators. I know um, you know, the Predators are the better team in terms of the record. Uh, but I think in terms of just getting in, uh, Pittsburgh doing everything it can, one point behind these teams. Uh, and I think they take care of business uh, and win this game 4-2. to two. So I believe that would be the Penguins and the under. That is correct, dude. And that is your abbreviated hockey frenzy, Tony.
Um, so it is kind of nuts. We are six days away from the start of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Kind of crazy, dude. I know. I know. Feels like the season just started. Um, and obviously it's an exciting time to be a Ranger friend. Oh my god, are you kidding me? It's so exciting. And again, the, the whole the heatle talk now, he's practicing. I want to say we don't see him for, for playoffs, but you never know. I mean, again, um, you know, that that injury, the concussion is, is a very odd injury to have and everything like that. A lot of nuances to it. Um, but hey, I mean, the fact that he's practicing right now, pl- contact practicing as well, I mean, it's a great sign. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, we do have uh, some uh, extensions in the NFL. Um, the uh, Colts uh, locking up DeForest Buckner, uh, $46 million extension for the defensive tackle. It's a two year deal. Um, and, um, you know, he was coming down to his um, last year of a four year, $84 million contract. So you look at Buckner, uh, the former first round pick out of San Francisco, out of Oregon. Uh, in 2016, he had eight sacks last year. Um, you look at it for his career, uh, he has 61 sacks. Um, so one of the best interior linemen in the game. Um, and at this point is 30 years old. So obviously you would think he's got a few years left here. So I think a smart move for Indi- Indianapolis. Um, and, and it's going to be interesting to see what we see out of them um, this season. And, and if Anthony Richardson uh, could stay healthy, that is a, a big storyline for sure. Um, we also have Devonta Smith uh, signing an extension with the Eagles. Uh, no news on the trade of AJ Brown. It seemed like there were some issues there with Hertz and Brown, but it looks like maybe they, they want to give this one more shot. Um, and this is a three-year extension uh, with 51 million guaranteed 70 Five million overall. Smith, the former Heisman Trophy winner, Tony, out of the University of Alabama, of course, playing under Nick Saban, mm. uh, had 1,066 yards and seven touchdowns last season. Uh, he was the 10th overall selection in the 2021 uh, NFL draft. Um, and I think, obviously, it's a great move. 25 years old. Um, you know, this, this day and age, I mean, under 30 million for a guy that's probably – in the top 10 of receivers in the NFL. Not not a terrible, because I think he also is only going to improve from this point on. Uh, yeah, it seems like it, right? And again, I mean, you know, coming from, from Bama, I mean, clearly the guy's going to have a good head on his shoulders, be competitive, know what it's like, you know, to come up and, and also not be, um, I guess, too cocky. You know, it seems like he's going to have a good head for the NFL. And like you said, I think because of that, he's going to continue to improve, dude. Um, so you got to love that. Uh, what do you think about, um, I guess, um, Devonta Adams has come out or Devonte Adams has come out and said that this is where, you know, he wants to be in terms of the Raiders. Um, and you know, cause their quarterback situation still very much murky, um, you know, with O'Connell and mm-hmm. Minshew, right. Minshew would add some with the Raiders. I right? think so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then what are they going to do in the draft? Um, I just feel like I don't get how. You know, he's not um, – yeah, it is the Raiders. Um, he's not completely tight because uh, I just feel like he was so used to Aaron Rodgers just, like, peppering him with targets. And, and and they were, you know, obviously competitive. He goes to the Raiders. They've been nothing of the sorts. Or do you think it's because of Antonio Pierce being there that that's, that's the confidence that he thinks that they're going to be a contending team next season? Um, I would say a lot of it has to do with Antonio Pierce. You know, we saw him, you know, his first game as a coach, the win, the locker room, the cigars inside. I mean, they looked like they were a team that, you know, had a bond, was having fun, and obviously, you know, evidently winning because of that. Mm-hmm. But I also, I, I think maybe Adams just likes Vegas, too. That that I feel like he just likes the atmosphere of playing um, in that city for that state and obviously what what is surrounding the stadium on, on the Vegas Strip and everything like that. I, I got to say he loves the, the the party lifestyle there, right? I mean, because, again, I feel like he is someone who has been super outspoken about, like, my quarterback isn't good. I want to go somewhere where I'm going to get targets, you know? Yeah. So, I like, the, the fact that he's sticking around in Vegas, it's got to be location, it's got to be coaching. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's that's definitely true. Um, I'm sure it's definitely an attractive destination for these players, the off-season temperatures. Um, and how crazy <laughs> is it? It really has snuck up on us. Um, before we know it, we'll be saying the first pick in the NFL drafts, the Chicago Bears select Caleb Williams. <laughs> Ten days uh, from now. 25th, yeah, that's right. Roger Good- Goodell at the podium 
Detroit, Michigan, Tony. Wow, it's Detroit. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, they 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 move it every year. It used to yeah, be yeah. New York every year. Mm -hmm. what, what do you think about that? Obviously, you're pro New York, but I mean, do you think it's good to let the other areas? No, yeah, I'm I'm a huge fan of moving it around. To be honest, yeah, it's been I, a while I think now that it's cool. been New York, though. You know, but but I guess it's it's what, not like other places have gotten right. it multiple times. What like um Vegas, from Kansas City. What dictates where they go? Do you know? Just yeah, I think it's like the um, Super Bowl. It's just a bidding process. You know, oh yeah, markets. Nashville also has had the draft as mm. well. Um, so it is cool. And obviously we always talk about just what it's grown into, um, you know, the cult like following of Mel Kiper Jr. And Todd McShay leading up to the draft. Wow. Daniel Jeremiah getting in the mix as well. Bucky Brooks, Tony, mm -hmm. um, so many draft analysts these days. Are you trying to say there's too many? Uh, no, I'm just saying it's just, it's just a lot. It's yeah. great. You know, it cause it, it started in the, the, uh, Sheridan in New York city, yeah. you know, like 30 years ago conference call i mean it's it's crazy what it's moved into a three-day event now you know who is uh who's your favorite like draft analyst uh i'll, I'll give it to kuiper i know yeah. some people are tough but it's just like he's been doing it for so long mm -hmm. clearly the guy knows the thing he does he does have some great draft picks and yeah predictions where, where, where are you with the draft because i know you don't really watch college and right you know, football is not like the top of your list with sports but you like the red zone all that i mean do you, do you are you into the draft at all um no not really to be bite? honest dude yeah it's really just a sound bite was it did they have it in vegas two years ago yeah um yeah dude that for me when they had like chris angel there yeah and the fucking the the, the they had the case up top and he had the 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 first pick written down in it whatever i was like yeah. dude this is like i mean this is like too much like like it should be i feel like just call a business okay it doesn't have to be an event it be like artists, people performing, okay? Speaking of Vegas, that's where the NHL draft will be this year. Remember Dolan not giving up the draft pick? That's right, dude. Going to be there in Vegas. So that's going to be sick, though. But again, like, there's no reason to make it so much of a spectacle. Well, I feel like you hockey know? is different because it takes so long for the guys to actually get into the NHL unless they're, like, the number one overall pick. Right, right. Yeah, so exactly. It doesn't matter as much either for, for that sport. For a but. top 10 pick. How, what do you think the average duration is in the minors or just average duration for when they're drafted to when they make their debut? Is it like three years? Ooh. On average. See, it's tough because then you get some players. Hi, Derek. You know. I'm um, <laughs> um, still no idea who this guy is, huh? No. Um, what? Oh, Bot City, you think? Yeah. Prefer probably prefer, prefer more than likely prefer city. Yeah, it's so funny though. It's like prefer. He's not saying anything right now, but you know he's watching. He's listening. Absolutely, he's this, dude. Um, and he's he's chilling with Derek Hall apparently. <laughs> yeah, dude. Um, I forget what we. Oh, no, three, three years? years. Yeah, I would say maybe on average. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it is kind of crazy how how it works like that. Um, but yeah, I mean, here we are, the Monday after the Masters, Tony. Are you how are you with are you a little like kind of like ah oh, i wish there was more from augusta and yeah no i will i will definitely miss like the the prestige yeah you know of the tournament and everything like that but i'm excited for the rest of the rest of the golf of, season. of pga season yeah i think it's gonna be sick dude do you think I, I know it's like they're not but like do you think it like it should be that the last event of the season is a major instead of how like you know we have the open championship in July, but then it's still another month of right. other tournaments, the tour championship. What do you, how do you think of, what do you think about that? What do they, do they end with the Ryder the Cup? Tour, well, yeah, but it's right. the tour championship, the tour championship. And then in Atlanta, East Lake. Right. Um, yeah, I guess, I, just, I guess I it would be cool if they ended with a major because obviously it's bigger. But is, is there a reason why they don't do that? Well, it's because they want like the FedEx playoffs to have juice and it does have a big prize. But you know, from viewing from the players, it's like, yeah, they're, they're excited about like the the prize, but there's not like a prestige to, right. to being a tour champion. You know? Yeah, I mean, there is in a sense, but not like the green jacket, Butler cabin, right? No, you're right. The green polo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, exactly. Do you think they're ever gonna change it? No, probably not. Do you think they'll ever add another major? Uh, no. Because they 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 would have done it with the players. There's been 50 players. It's, it hasn't been a major. It's not going to be a major. So I guess that's it, right? Yeah, I guess that is it. Uh, Josh also saying that he thinks Derek Ho made to find a boulder to kick, which is a good one. Wow, dude. Uh, and he's he's like Groot. Groot. Hi there. Yeah. <laughs> but it's prefer, right? Derek Ho is prefer. Gotta be. 
Yeah. But who is Buffer? Don't know. Remember he said some name one time, like a long time ago? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. He did call in that one Do you time. Do he's too. AI? No, no. That would be crazy. <laughs> that would be freaky. It would be. It would be. Uh, but, yeah, so that's that's really it. But, um, you know, another another great show today. And, and really appreciate everybody who tuned in and continues to comment, like, and subscribe. All of the archives on the YouTube page, Tony Michael Renee. And Jay in costume, the merch at downtimetv.com. We want everybody to enjoy the day, enjoy the games. Let's go, go Yankees Mets. and Rangers, and, Rangers. and we will see you manana. Hey, guys. Tony here from Downtime TV checking in. I want to thank all our fans out there who's been liking, subscribing, sharing our content. You guys are the best. You guys are our bloodline. You make us love what we do. Thanks again.